What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I'm bringing you guys Potion Polish's Uplift Collection. This is her Summer Quad Set. If you are a fan of shimmer polishes, this is definitely going to be up your alley as they are super strong and just very glowy overall. So let's get started with the swatches. First up is Alive. This is a soft baby pink base packed with blue to green and red to copper Aurora shimmer with a dash of silver holographic glitter. So this one feels very crelly like to me, just easy buildup overall on the nail. I am going to suggest between two and three coats depending on how you polish on this one. Um, I took it to two coats and I felt like it was just fine. and It plumped out really nice for me. I will say that on the very, very bright lights of my video, you can see just a touch of my smile line. But honestly, I felt like this was a delicate co color overall and it looked just fine. So. As you can see here, no problems whatsoever with the flakes. I do give my bottles a good shake before applying, and I had no problems picking them up uh, out of the bottle on the brush. They all lay down nice and flat for me, as you can see here on that second coat. No problems with placement. Everything laid down nice and flat for me. Now, this one does dry down a little bit on the matte side, so personally, I would recommend a good glossy top coat, which is what you're seeing here on the full hand shot, and you'll be good to go. This one also has um, a very soft sparkle as the flakes are in the medium and smaller variety overall. Next up is From Within. This is described as a very pale lilac with peach to gold to green shifting Aurora shimmer and a dash of silver holographic glitter. So this one is another very soft, delicate shade. Very, very pretty. Now, I do feel like the video is being color accurate here. Um, this is easily a very pale lilac in person. Just really nice lavender undertone to it overall. This does apply like a crelly and it does dry down quite a bit on the matte side. So for this one as well, I would recommend a glossy top coat. Now for opacity, once again, I'm going to suggest going in with between two to three coats for this, depending on application type and your nail length as well. Um, I felt like this one probably would have done best at three thin coats for this. It does have lovely self leveling, but I do want to note that it is packed full of that shimmer. So definitely go in just a touch light on your brush strokes and you'll be just fine and avoid any balding whatsoever. So um, here on that third coat, I'm going in really, really thin just to kind of plump everything out and even out my nails overall. But as you can see there, there's just a little bit of dragging that I had with that shimmer. So definitely just be mindful of your brush strokes and you're going to be just fine. Overall, this one is super pretty, very glowy. There is a soft sparkle overall and the shimmer is crazy shifty and just really warm and glowy. Next up is something wonderful. This is described as a soft mint with peach to green to gold shifting Aurora shimmer and hints of gold holographic glitter. So this one is a lovely mint, almost kind of flirting with being a bit of a Tiffany blue, um, very minty overall, but it does have that nice pastel blue undertone to it. Once again, I do feel like the video is being pretty color accurate here, at least on my monitor. Um, I do hope that it, it is coming all across like that on y'all's monitor as well. So this one is very similar to From Within on how it applies. It does dry down a little bit on the matte side. So once again, I'd suggest a glossy top coat to really make it pop. Now this one has um, a very strong copper glow with it as well. On angles, you'll easily see it shift over to green. Um, once again, I would caution going in heavy with your brush strokes. Just be light and let it glide over your nail to prevent any balding and you're going to be just fine. Personally, I would go in with three thin coats on this one to really get that nice plump look that I'm usually going for and have everything just really, really pop on the nail. Now, this one also has a bit of a fine scattered holographic effect as well, just kind of adding an extra sparkle overall. And once again, here on the full hand shot, you're seeing a glossy top coat applied. Easy peasy, very flattery and super, super glowy overall. And finally, we have Halcyon, the Oops version. This is just like her original Halcyon from 2017, but unfortunately due to her manufacturer change with the chrome flakes, the flakes are a little bit larger in this version. So this is described as a super pale pink with a shimmery turquoise glow and blue to green chrome flakes. So this one overall in the formula feels just a touch heavier than the others in the, in the quad. Now, that is not a bad thing. So this one I would suggest going in in probably two coats and you're going to be just fine. This one also dries down a little bit on the matte side. So I would recommend a good glossy top coat to really make that shimmer pop. 
in person this is definitely um, a pale pink it does have a very strong white undertone to it overall so um, it's kind of like a white if you could add just a drop of pink to a giant white vat very very pretty very delicate and just really popping overall the shimmer in this one is very strong you'll see a very strong turquoise glow overall and once again no problems whatsoever with the flakes laying down um, and behaving nicely for me on the nail now the quad will release july 6th at 1 p.m eastern time prices for each bottle will range between 1050 and 11. I'll link you guys below to Potion Polish's shop as well as my blog post if you'd like additional review um, as well as swatch photos. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.